What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be going over the current state of available BlackBerry or QWERTY keyboard devices and what we know about the upcoming 5G BlackBerry for an onward mobility and any information and updates we have in 2022. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So we are now in the second month of 2022 and there's been a few surprises for people that are BlackBerry or QWERTY keyboard fans. Number one is that even even though BlackBerry 10 devices have reached end of life, there has been a surprising number of reports that people's BlackBerry 10 devices are still working after end of life. This includes the BlackBerry Passport and the BlackBerry Classic and other BlackBerry 10 devices as well. So overall, it was quite a surprise to find these BlackBerry 10 devices working in 2022 as many in the BlackBerry community had feared the worst in terms of receiving official notices from their telecom providers that their BlackBerry 10 devices would no longer be functional. But yet, even after the, the end of life date of January 4th, 2022, a lot of BlackBerry 10 users reporting that were phone and text functionality was still perfectly operational after the reported end of life period. So in terms of the options that you have available to you on BlackBerry phones, these BlackBerry 10 devices are still on the table. This includes of course the BlackBerry Classic and the BlackBerry Passport. In regards to other BlackBerry phones that are still operational, you still have access to the TCL phones which include of course the blackberry priv the blackberry key one and the blackberry key two these phones are running android and they're still working albeit on older versions of android that are no longer being updated but for many, if your bottom line is actually having an operational physical QWERTY keyboard, this is a small price to pay for that tactile feedback. In regards to other options that we have available and the future of BlackBerry and QWERTY keyboards, there's a few areas where BlackBerry enthusiasts can remain somewhat hopeful. Unihertz has turned out to be a great manufacturer of QWERTY keyboard phones, and I myself, after owning the Unihertz Titan and also the Unihertz Titan Pocket, I'm happy to report that while they're not quite Blackberries and they don't one for one replicate the entire Blackberry typing experience, they're great phones in and of themselves. They're not strictly aiming for the Blackberry experience as both the Unihertz Titan and the Unihertz Titan Pocket are somewhat different form factors as they're both rugged phones with QWERTY keyboards and touchscreens and updated versions of Android. So if you're looking for some form of physical typing experience, then Unihertz does offer a great solution to you in both the Unihertz Titan, the larger variant, and the Unihertz Titan Pocket if you're looking for a smaller phone. As Unihertz doesn't strictly only manufacture QWERTY keyboard phones, they do actually have an exciting lineup of other rugged phones, including some other interesting phones that are due out later this year. I'm excited to see where they take their QWERTY keyboard segment as Hopefully they can build upon the great software and hardware that they already have on the Unihertz Titan and the Unihertz Titan Pocket. In terms of an official release from BlackBerry, of course we do have one large potential release on the horizon, and that's the official licensed phone from Onward Mobility that BlackBerry had announced originally in 2021. There was a long lull in terms of not actually having any information in regards to what this phone might look like, but thankfully there's been a recent update from Onward Mobility that this project is still working and that we should hopefully see the device by 2022. To refresh your memory, back in 2021, the word was that this would be an international flagship phone with flagship specs, and hopefully, this will use a chipset that matches this description. The form factor is also up in the air as well, as the only information we really know is that this phone will have 5G, will run Android, and will have a physical keyboard. A lot of people have been speculating whether or not the form factor would follow the smaller screen and full-size keyboard like the BlackBerry Classic, or it will opt for a longer screen like the recent iterations of the BlackBerry Q1 and Q2. 
as this year's flagship release cycle starts to ramp up, it'd be interesting to see exactly which chipset and which feature set on Reveal Ops for on the release of this 5G phone. But for the moment, we can only wait and speculate. And hopefully the fact that our BlackBerry 10 devices are still working and we still have two great releases from Unihertz will hopefully hold us over until we get the official release from BlackBerry and Auto Mobility. So there you have it everyone, just some thoughts on the current state of available physical QWERTY keyboard phones and working Blackberries and alternatives. If you have any thoughts on these phones and or the possibilities with the 5G BlackBerry, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.